Hello YouTube and this is Robert with Super Galactic Geek Review and we have another build and grow today from Lowe's. This is Thor's Chariot. So let's go ahead and open the instructions up and get this thing built. Okay. So, as you can see we do have the really cool patch and the Thor sticker with this. What we're going to do with this one's a little different. We're going to put it together except for the back wheels. We can't put those on until after everything else is done and the stickers and all are on it because you won't be able to get to the back piece if you do. So let's start off. We need these two little fender pieces that they show right here, one for each side. And we need this piece here. So that sits right like that. And the fender pieces apparently sit on here like this. So what it's showing to do is put this little piece here through here. Drop it down in here right like this in that groove. So that, that wheel, this is the front wheel of it, will sit right like that. And these pieces sit right like this on here. And it tells us we need the long nail for this. So let's go ahead and put that in there like that. And that's a little fun to line up. you got to keep it perfectly straight the whole time. It is not wanting to go through. So let's try cleaning out our holes a little bit. It looks like it's not wanting to line up too well. Let's try this one more time here and we'll lay that on there. Let's make it a little easier on ourselves and push that through. And line it up on here. Once we get one lined up, it should be good to go. Okay, let's try that. There we go, that one went on just fine. Let's do the next one. Get it through there. And on tight. That's on. Go to the other side, do the same thing. Now these are really neat little projects you can take your kids to Lowe's to do. And I'm sure they're going to have other projects they're going to announce on their website. They don't have anything listed right now. I'm kind of curious what the next one is that they do. Let's tap those down real good. Alright, so those are on. That's really nice. Now, it says that we need this piece right here and we need to put it on just like this right in those two holes so let's line up those two holes and we still need two of the long ones so let's go ahead and grab those line it up with that hole put it just like that and and there you go that one's in let's put the next one in real quick here and this is going along pretty good I mean it's really nice now this Thor one has a lot more pieces than the uh, Hulk one or the Quinjet that we've done so far so now it says we need to turn it over and we have these two pieces and they nail on just like this on each side so let's figure out how we're supposed to nail them on I believe it looks like that right there that looks pretty good lined up there and here's our other one here and it'll line up just like that so we'll go ahead and nail those on and get those done
Remember, you want to tap these nails in real tight because you later on, me personally, I'm going to smooth them out because the stickers cover that and I want it to be nice and smooth. I'm going to probably take it and just sand it down just a little bit to get it smoothed out nice. Uh, oh, that's going to look really cool because that's where the front of the chariot sits. That is going to look really cool. So this is going to be a really neat project when we get it done. Alright, so those are in. Now we have this piece here. And if you look, it's got this little square piece. It slides right into that groove just like that. And that's where that goes. Now what we got to do with that is just... fun part is getting that hammered in is going to be a job. Now this one you would use these shorter nails for. So what we do is turn it over here, we get it lined up, like I said, you did get it lined up on here just right. Once you get it lined up, I would suggest setting it at a little bit of an angle to nail these. That way you're not putting pressure on this tip over here. Right, we got our first one in, let's get our second one over here and that way we got them in fairly well. Okay, two more to go here. And then what we'll go do is we'll go paint this and then we'll be back as soon as we get that done. Let it sit and dry after it gets a good paint job on it. And then we can put the wheels on. And that is it except for putting these wheels together, which we will do and get it painted and everything for you. But it's going to look, just to give you an idea, we'll throw the wheels just temporarily on there. We're not going to nail them together. It's going to look somewhat like that, but we're going to go ahead and paint it. And once we get it painted, we'll put the stickers and all on, and we'll be back with you to show you what that looks like. Hello YouTube, we've got it painted now, so let's go ahead and get our pieces together. Let's start off by putting the uh, Thor sticker on here. I think this is going to look really cool with a uh, silver background for Thor. So let's go ahead and get him on, and then we're going to put the rest of his chariot together. And just give me one second and we'll have it together. Look at that, that looks really, really cool. And so, I think that part is done. And we're going to go ahead and put these pieces on now. Now this is what, with these here, you pop them out, basically, and you fold it up like this on the side there. Gives it a nice little wing effect, as you can see. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to tack this on with these little nails right through these holes here. Now, what I suggest doing is pop it through the hole there, put the nail on, and then pop your other one through the hole and put it on that nail hole too. And then nail them in. Now they're a little difficult to get in on first because you got to line them up. And I'll tell you what, lining them up is a little bit of a pain, but once you get it on there and you get it lined in, it looks really neat. So that's on. That looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and uh, it looks like this piece is wanting to not wanting to bend all the way around. Let's see if we can get it to bend a little better. There we go. That looks a little better. Let's get it in there tight. So that's what that side looks like. Let's go ahead and do the other side. Get it on. And once we get it done, we'll put the wheel on and get our stickers on, okay? So if you give me one second here, we'll have this together, and we will have the sticker on. All right, one moment here, we'll get that nailed in. Okay, that side's nailed in. Of course, it popped up just like the other one did, so we'll fix that. We'll just push it down in there like that, put them in. And they 
just a little stiff. You'll hey, have to. I'm gonna probably go back and put a, just a touch of glue on each side to keep it in straight because it wants to pop up. Um, now let's go ahead and put our back wheel on. We'll put it in like this. Put the wheel piece over here like this. Put this right here, and. Being a little stubborn, not wanting to go in there, but we will get it. Alright, we finally got it in. It's a little loose, but we will tap it the rest of the way in. It doesn't matter if you scuff this up a little, there's going to be a sticker going over this anyway. So. All right, so let's get our stickers on this, and let's start off with our wheels. We'll cover up those dings that I just did, and put it right like that. That looks pretty cool, actually. I like that. And we'll put the other wheel on. And put it on there just like that. Okay, now... We've got the seat piece that goes on here. We'll put it on next. And that goes on right in this section here. What I suggest you do is put your back piece on first, like that, and then run your finger down in there like that. So that sits like that. That looks pretty cool. Now we've got, according to the sticker thing, this piece right here and this looks like it's going to be fun to wrap on here because it, it looks like it's a little difficult to get it to wrap straight so what we want to do is put it on and it goes on the side right like that so what we're doing is we're putting it right here on the side and wrapping it underneath that and up the side of this like this down this side here go from the front to the back is your easiest way and then smooth out any bubbles you have let's do the other side real quick and once we get this done right here then we only got a couple more stickers to do and we'll have it together and it'll be completed and it looks it's looking really good these are the pieces that you put right here on the front that goes over the top right here let me show you how these go on and these are a little fun now they're arrowed on which side you need to go see like this side it goes just like that pull it off of there and just rotate it up as you go and over and it'll stick right there like that and then put the next one on and then we've only got two more pieces to put on after this and we'll have Thor's chariot completed all right so that one's on that one's on let's go ahead and get these two back pieces on now these are going to be a little fun to do here on the back end back here so just getting them lined up right is a little bit of a job so just give me a second here to get it on there goes right on the back here between these two fins so you just put that little piece in there then your next one goes right here so once we get this one on goes right there just like that and that is the Thor chariot right there completed and we got Thor there so we've completed this one and it turned out pretty good YouTube I like it uh, like I said I'm gonna go back and glue this down a little bit but it's I think it looks really neat so that is the build and grow Thor chariot remember YouTube check the uh, Lowe's website find out what they're having coming up and don't forget to click that like button.
Don't forget to subscribe and be proud to be a geek.